Now gathering him, now thank we all our God, number 403. Now thank we all our God, sweet heart and minds and voices, who rose the saints as thine, in all his worldly choices, who from our mother's arms hath blessed on our way. Today is the memorial of St. Leo the Great, Pope and Doctor of our Church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who never allow the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Hear, O kings, and understand. Learn, you magistrates of the earth's expanse. Hearken, you who are in power over the multitude and lord it over throngs of peoples, because authority was given you by the Lord and sovereignty by the Most High. Who shall probe your works and scrutinize your counsels? Because though you were ministers of his kingdom, you judged not rightly and did not keep the law, nor walk according to the will of God. Terribly and swiftly he shall come against you, because judgment is stern for the exalted, for the lowly may be pardoned out of mercy, but the mighty shall be mightily put to the test. For the Lord of all shows no partiality, nor does he fear greatness, because he himself made the great as well as the small, and he provides for all alike. But for those in power, a rigorous scrutiny impends. To you, therefore, O princes, are my words addressed, that you may learn wisdom and that you may not sin. For those who keep the holy precepts hallowed shall be found holy, and for those learned in them will have a ready response. Desire, therefore, my words Long for them, and you shall be instructed. The word of the Lord. Rise up, O God, and bring judgment to the earth. Rise up, O Lord, and bring judgment to the earth. Defend the lowly and fatherless. Render justice to the afflicted 
and the destitute. Rescue the lowly and the poor from the hand of the wicked. Deliver them. Rise up, O God. Bring justice to the earth. I said, you are God's, all of you sons of the Most High. Yet like men, you shall die and fall like any prince. Rise up, O God, and bring justice. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Jesus Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priest. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Of the many popes that we have, it is only few of the popes that has a title, The Great. Today we commemorate the one of the greatest popes that we ever have, Pope Leo, known to have done and shaped our own Catholic Church in a way that it has been tested by time, by many adversities, by many challenges, and has radically put down himself to really search and to become an image of Christ. Pope Leo has fought the Pelagianisms, the Vandals in Rome, and the many sort of heresies during his time. But one of the most touching part in his life is that even that he was Pope, he has never claimed him, he, his authority as a human power. But he would always tell them that all authority comes from the very heart of Jesus alone. I think it is always what we call very significant for us to discern the life of the authority in our church as well. Though sometimes we see the Pope as a seat of power, but it is always good to be reminded to all of us that anything that we do for the church is not authority at all. It is always an opportunity for us to be like Christ and to radiate him in anything that we do. One of the things that we see here in our gospel is the gentleness of Jesus as he always see and cleanse and heal the people. Here also, a Samaritan, a foreigner, or shall we say a minority, during those times when he heals them, it was only this foreigner was able to thank him about the healing. This is not to undermine the nine, but I think the story of the Samaritan 
is we could realize that the more that you are able to face a lot of hardships, challenges in life, the more that you are able to remain thankful and appreciative of every goodness that you receive. Most of my dear friends, all of us, in our own humility, in our own limitness, we all submit our own hearts to the loving Lord. Truly, we are grateful. That is why we always appreciate the many blessings that God has given us. May we always become thankful, like the Samaritan, of the many things that the Lord has bestowed upon us. We are most thankful when we receive favors we do not deserve. The Samaritan leper and an outsider gave thanks when cured by Jesus. Let us ask the Lord for a grateful heart. May we not think of ourselves as always deserving of what we get in life and so fail to thank God and the people who are good to us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Like St. Paul, may we say of people who are good to us, I thank my God each time I think of you, praying always with joy for all of you, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. It seems so easy to say thank you, but we know that it is not. May we be thankful for the favor we received, whether big or small, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayers. May husband and wife see each other as a gift from God and give thanks for this gift so as to strengthen their marriage, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. May we thank the Lord for the gift of a new day, for the persons we meet during the day, and even for the challenges and trials that come our way, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For Kim Marsh Non family, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Silently we present our petitions to the Lord. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Father, we receive so much from you, if, even if we are not deserving. May we never fail to thank and glorify you through Jesus, in Jesus, and with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn, number 541, O Sacrament Most Holy, 541. O oh, Jesus, we adore you, who in your love divine, conceal your mighty Sacrament divine, O praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. O Jesus, we adore you, our victim and our priest, whose precious. Oh, sacrament of 
Brethren, may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise of the glory of His name, for our good and all His holy church. To the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church, so that your flock may everywhere prosper, that under your governance the shepherd may become pleasing to your name, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For as on this festival of St. Leo the Great, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her. By the example of his holy life, teach her by the words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praises without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the Holy Lord and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks and broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, you pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, is said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us offer each other the sign of peace. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you's day, we toll his peccatum di, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. May God bless you always. May God bless you always. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. As you go to the sick and the homebound, take not only the sacrament we have celebrated, but also the word of God which we have heard, as well as the affection of this parish community, as with the prayers of those whom we have visited in return, go now with God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed she may enjoy ever greater freedom and pers persevere in integrity of religion to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Holy Mass has been offered. Let us now go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn, number 386.
O bless the Lord, my soul. 386. O bless the Lord, my soul. His grace to thee proclaim. And all that is within me join to bless his holy name. O bless the Lord, my soul. His mercies bear in mind. Forget not all his benefits.